Hello. So, today I'm going to be doing a manga collection video of sorts, and the reason I'm wearing a hat is because I can't be bothered to brush my hair today because it's a lazy day. So, let's get into my manga. And I kind of forgot to mention that this is just going to be a video on my Yaoi manga that I have because I've been meaning to do this video for so long. Um, but I just haven't been doing it, and I was going to do a manga haul video because I got about maybe 13 or so manga in the mail, but I decided just to put all my manga together and just make a video. So let's get started. So up here I have some manga that I'm currently reading. Um, just the first three volumes are ones that I'm reading. I'm reading volume two of Punch Up, which is a really good series so far about this, um, veterinarian, I think? Yeah, veterinarian, and a uh, <clears throat> construction worker that kind of fall in love and uh, get together, and that's really good so far. I really like that one. Uh, the other one I have, I believe this is actually, no, this one's about the veterinarian. I'm mixing my stories up because it's just yaoi, but, um, well, here's Honey Darling. Um, I started reading it, not too far into it. I kind of like it. I like the guy. He's hot as hell, but <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not too interested in that story right now. I'll probably finish it soon, though. And then my current favorite yaoi of all time is The World's Greatest First Love. I'm still reading this, um, and also, just because it's completely fabulous and awesome, I have my bookmark. Oh my god, I can't even pick it up, because I'm, I, I don't have a tripod. I need a tripod. It's Sam, Dean, and um, Castiel from... Um, Supernatural, and they're all sparkly, and they have books all around them. So that's awesome. But yeah, this is my favorite yaoi manga of all time. I haven't even finished it yet, but I love the anime. And I can't wait for volume 2 to come out. It comes out in August, I think? Uh, and the third volume hasn't been released. It uh, doesn't have a release date yet, so I don't know when that'll come out. Hopefully soon, maybe next year. Then I have Kazuna, the deluxe edition, by Kazuma Kodaka, who is... Quite possibly my favorite yaoi uh, creator, uh, I guess besides Shinguku Nakamura. Um, both of those are like tied for my favorite. Um, I'll talk about her later. I, I've heard this story isn't very good though. Like I hear it's kind of like a um, an abusive relationship maybe. So I I don't know if I'll like that. I'll read it though because I bought it and I like the mangaka. Uh, and then we have. Two random volumes I got from um, Right Stuff's Yaoi sale they did. They did this like $3 blind box thing. And I got Your Honest Deceit Volume 2 and Lovely Sick Volume 2. Um, I believe one of these sounds really, really good. I think it was Lovely Sick. Um, the story just sounds really interesting. So I want to get volumes one of those. And then here's another story I got from the sale. This is Allure, which I haven't read yet. This is a one-shot, so I can read this one. But it does sound interesting. It's about a guy who loses his eyes, and he gets an eye transplant from someone. And after his eye transplant, he finds out that he is starting to fall in love with a doctor. Um, so that sounds really interesting. It's kind of like a... You know, I guess if you get gay eyes, you become gay. It's weird. I don't know. Sounds interesting, though. <laughs> and then we got Awkward Silence 1 through 4, possibly my, uh, oh god, I don't even know, third favorite yaoi. It's so, so cute and so adorable. I need to read volume 3 and 4 of it still, but it's so good. It's by the same creator as The Tyrant Falls in Love, and it's just so, so cute. I love it so much. Then we have Bonds of Dreams, Bonds of Love. Uh, this is the complete series of this as well. I read the first volume. It's kind of a um, a story about a young a young man falling in love with an older man, and that's not bad. I don't have a problem with that too much. Um, but it I don't know. I didn't I liked the first volume okay, so I need to find out how the last three volumes are. My friend really loves this series though, so it's it's okay. And then my favorite possible yaoi manga, I'm still debating on whether I like it more than uh, The World's Greatest First Love, is Border. Oh my god, it's so good. I really, really hope that they continue this series, because I pre-ordered volumes like 4 and 5, and then they got like taken off the site. So I hope it gets continued, because it's so good. Oh, I love it so much. And then Fly of a Distant Day. This is a complete volume. Um, it's like a side story to Elgato Soul G, so I can't read that yet. Um, but that other series is kind of hard to find now, so don't know if I'll ever get to be able to read it. I have Castle Mongo Volume 1. Uh, this is the first volume, obviously. Volume 2 came out uh, last year, I think, or something like that. And um, I need to read it. My friend sent that to me out of the goodness of her heart, and I still haven't read it yet. I'm so bad. 
And then this next one, my friend, is going to be really, really happy about. I got the first two volumes, or the omnibus, of Embracing Love, which is my friend October's favorite yaoi. I'm so excited to read it. And my other friend loved it, too, and I'm just... I, I'm so excited for this book. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing, I'm sure. Um, it's about these two actors that do, um, what are they called, adult videos, and they start to possibly fall in love with each other, maybe? I don't know. It looks really good, though. I love the art. Look at the art. Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh, I love it. So, I can't wait. It's got, like, this 90s kind of art style to it, and I believe this is a current, like, series. Like, it's not even from... Is it from the 90s? I don't even know. My friend will correct me. I don't know. I can't look at it right now. I'm not bothered to look at it. This is a random yaoi I found at Hastings, because Hastings sometimes stocks yaoi, maybe, possibly. Um, this is Entangled Circumstances. I haven't read it yet, so I don't know if it's any good. And then one of my favorite people in the world recommended this series to me, the Finder series by um, Ayano Yama Yamane? Oh my god. Yamane. Yamane. Yamane, probably. Um, this is the first three volumes. Because this series is totally out of print and hard to find, um, but it's supposedly amazing. I read the first chapter, and I liked it okay. Um, it's kind of, kind of abusive a little bit, but I, I'm gonna give it more of a chance and read it, because I mean, oh my god, I need to show you the artwork, though. I won't, I won't show you a bad page, but the art is amazing. Like, look at that art. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love this artist so much. And she also wrote Crimson Love Spell, I believe is the title of the series. Um, she's a really popular mangaka. And then here's Yo Higuri's Gaku in Heaven, which is another really popular series. Um, I haven't watched the anime yet, I have it, but look at that art! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! That's like, that's, that's one of the main draws of Yaoi for me. They have such beautiful artwork that's just so good. Then I have his favorite, Volumes 1 and 2. This is a teen, older teen manga, so no adult content as far as I know. I mean, just look at it, it kind of reminds me of The World's Greatest First Love. Um, oh no, it doesn't, I guess. Well, they, they kind of look kind of similar. Yeah, they kind of do. I like that a lot. Um, but it's about, like, this guy in high school <clears throat> and this other guy that's pining for him. Um, and the other guy can't accept his feelings. And it's just, it looks so cute. I need to read it soon. Um, it's, it's just, it's adorable, I hear. So I can't wait to read it. Then a manga series I've been wanting to read since I basically got into you, Yaoi, is Hot Steamy Glasses. And I've had it for, like, three years now and I haven't read it yet. Then we have another Yaoi that I got um, in the $5 bin or whatever from Right Stuff, and that's Love Me Sinfully. I really like this artwork, too. It's really pretty. Um, I don't remember what the story was about, though. Then we have another Yaoi series that my friend gave me. Um, my friend Kitty Lumpkin, who I haven't talked to in, like, three years. But she sent me, like, a lot of Yaoi that just... Like, she sent me Hot and Steamy Glasses, and she sent me these two manga as well. And I just really like the artwork. It's from the same creator as Punch Up. This is one of her older series. And, um... I, I really, really need to read this. This is a complete kind of storyline between these boys and men, and I, I really want to read it. Um, she, she has a lot of crossovers with her series, too, so I'm, I'm already reading Punch Up, so I'll probably see some of these characters in this series, which is going to be exciting. And that same girl also sent me My Bad. Um, this is a complete series, and I haven't read it yet, but it sounds so cute. As you can see from the cover, it's about a guy who steals this guy's other guy's underwear, um, in order to talk to him, I guess, and, um, she says it's really cute, so, I mean, it sounds kind of pervy, but I, I think it's gonna be cute, and my Yomacon thing is not letting me get that in. That's my Yomacon badge for 2012? Yeah, 2012. That was the first Yomacon I went to. And then the series that also got me into Yaoi, along with Border, is Only Serious About You. I've only read the first volume because it's just damn adorable. Um, but the second volume I haven't read yet, but I need to. I can't believe I haven't read this yet. It's a, uh, a relationship between this one guy whose wife leaves him, and he meets this guy with the red hair, uh, at a book, at, 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 he's a chef, and, um, or I guess, actually, I think he's the chef. It's been a while since I've read it. One of them's a chef. They have this adorable, um, daughter, um, I don't know if you can see a picture of her. This hasn't had any sexual content, so I, I, I think I can show this. But it's just, it's so adorable. So cute. Oh, there's the daughter. Oh, dang it. I'll, I'll show you again. There she is. Look at her. Oh, my goodness gracious God. It's so cute. I am being so gay in this video. 
So I highly recommend that one. Uh, then we have Punch Up Volumes 1 and 3. I, as you can see, I'm reading Volume 2, so I have 1 through 3 of that. Volume 4 may come out soon, or it's already out and I forgot to buy it. Uh, so that's really good. Sleeping Moon is a series I wanted to buy. They had this Sublime Manga sale, and I just bought, like, everything that looked interesting. Um, I really like this artwork, though. If I can grab, pull it out, I really like this artwork. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's like a painting. It's so gorgeous. I don't know. Oh, I totally freaking caught that in my freaking hand. Baseball. Hell yeah. Anyway, I heard this looks good. I don't know. I bought it because it looked pretty. Is that a horrible... Oh, I should probably... Oh, maybe not. There we go. Nothing bad for you to see. This is probably an adult series. Yep, it is. I am so great and awesome. I didn't show you any sex. Yay! Then we have Ordinary Crush and Sunflower. This is a series by Ki Hayota Fujiyama. This is a the complete series, kind of like a side story. This is a side story to this. So, another series that my friend sent me. I, I really need to talk to Kitty Flumpkin again, because she's just so sweet. She sent me, like, all these yaoi, and she's beautiful and amazing. Um, but I need to read this so bad. And then this is the point of the video where you can't judge me at all, because this next manga I'm going to talk about is totally something that I lust over, and don't, don't, don't hate me. I freaking love manly men, and oh my Jesus. So, this series is about two Hispanic men that um, do the tango together and fall in love, and I would show you the artwork, but it is too sexy for my eyes to see, and I will, like, not be able to finish this video because it's just so amazing. Um, but look at this. Like, oh my gosh, two manly, adorable, sexy men dancing together is like the most cute thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I, I have to flip through it. Oh my god, it's so wonderful. And look, 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 look. The manly man is blushing. The manly man is freaking blushing. I can't handle it. I can't, I can't, I can't. So I'm going to read that soon. Okay, then we have The Tyrant Falls in Love, Volumes 1, 2, and 6. I bought these, or actually I think the first one uh, Kim sent me. And look, Kim, I actually still have the note in there. You can see it. I still keep it because I uh, treasure all my presents from my friends. Unless I lose the gift, in which case I'm sorry. But this is a really popular series from... Hinako Tananaga. Takanaga? Takanaga. Um, I need to read more of it. I read the first couple chapters, and it was okay. Uh, kind of abusive a little bit, but eh, I might, I might read more. This next one is actually a series that I really relate to. Uh, it's called Then Comes Love. This is a one-shot, and um, it's about this boy in high school who falls in love with another guy. And it sounds kind of cliche, but like... The story behind it is like letting yourself accept the other person's love. And it made me cry because I totally relate to this um, in my own high school life. And I'm not going to talk about it because it's really personal and it just made me cry and that's all I'm going to say. But it was beautiful. Uh, I really, really recommend this one. It is an older teen one. I think there's like one sex scene, but it's so beautiful. It's so good. Um, it's, I, I just treasure that volume because... I relate to it. And then the last yaoi I own, I hope, I, just, I hope I don't find any other yaoi in my house because I need to keep them all in one spot. Um, this is What Did You Eat Yesterday by Fumi Yoshinaga. I need to read more of her stuff. She wrote Antique Bakery and uh, Oku as well. I need to get those. But this one, it looks just so good. Um, it's a, it's an Eisner Award winning manga, I believe, or what's the word that they won? The, uh, a Manga Taisho Award is what it won. And the Japanese Media Arts Festival Awards, so freaking high quality manga right there from Vertical. And yeah guys, this is my little tiny yaoi collection. I haven't even read all of it yet, but I'm probably going to uh, read a lot more in the future, especially Man of Tango, because oh my freaking god, oh my freaking god, oh my god! Okay, I should totally stop this now because I'm just being completely just too too flamboyant in this video. Just too much too much amazing and beautiful wonderfulness that is my life. So I will see you guys in another video and you guys have a wonderful day. Stay sexy and oh my god, I'm gonna stop. Okay, bye bye.